things that last class we have learned input devices. Okay. Which are the input devices? Scanner. Particle scanner is there now. They are all input devices. Now we will learn output devices. Those who have missed my last class can uh, watch the video in uh, Drishtavali, KSOE Drishtavali. Okay? Even today's class, it will be hosted up to one or two days. See, output devices means what? Output devices we use to see the result of the screen. So what is that screen is nothing but your monitor. Okay, and when you want to take the printer, how you are taking to the printer? So monitor, printer, they are all for output devices. When you hear the song, if you have a speaker, then only you can hear the song. So the speaker is an output device. Sometimes um, song will be playing, okay, but you will not be able to hear the uh, sound. So in that case, you have to uh, connect it to the speaker. Uh, you will say, I don't have a speaker. Means uh, that uh, signal should be connected into what? Electrical signals which speaker understands. Okay, digital you cannot hear. When it comes, the output you can see means you can hear the sound. Uh, output devices are monitor, printers, plotters, speakers, they are all output devices, okay? See, we have different types of monitors, we have different types of printers. We will study one by one, okay? So here are monitors, actually monitors, there are different the monitors you get in different sizes. Minimum is 14 inch, 15 inch, 18 inch, 22 inch like that, okay? So here, these are the sizes, 14, 15, 17, 19, 21 inches, they are all sizes of the monitor. So, in monitors, you have two types, monochrome monitor and color monitor. What do you mean by monochrome monitors? Black. Yeah, black and white, mono means single color, okay, black and white are mo monochrome monitors. Color monitors, how you get color? Anybody in the class? Very good. R, G, B. R means red, blue and green. Okay. With these three colors only you get combination of different colors. Okay. So here in monitors also you have different types. So I'll explain you. You have two types. Monochrome. Monochrome monitors and color monitors. RGB, they are color monitors. Okay. Monochrome means single color, which is nothing but your black and white. In, again, you have different types of monitors. In color monitors, you have LCD monitors. What is LCD? Huh? Who said liquid crystal display? Please raise your hand. Correct. Correct times. Okay. LCD means? Liquid crystal display. You should note down the abbreviations because they last for you. LCD, LED, LED TFT. Uh, for abbreviations, you should learn. LCD means? See, now only you have learned. Liquid crystal display. Liquid crystal display. Okay, the second one is L E D. LED monitors. 
LED means what? Light. Very good. Light emitting light. Light emitting diode. The third one is TFT monitors. What is TFT? What is TFT? Thin filament transistor. Thin filament transistor. Thin filament transistor. You can have combination of uh, LCD TFT, you can have combination of LED TFT, okay? Now I will tell you the difference. See, these are all different types of monitors. Monitors are what type of devices? Output devices. Okay, very good. Uh, what is the difference between LCD, LED, TFT monitors? Anybody in the class? Have you seen LCD monitors? You all have seen. You all have mobile phones with you, right? When you sweat or if you touch with your wet hands on the screen, you can see seven colors. Have you observed that? That is LCD monitor. Okay, liquid crystal display. Then what is LED monitors? Light emitting diode. Here the images are very sharp and uh, you cannot, uh, you won't get that seven colors. Okay. Then, uh, this is cheaper. This is expensive. LED monitors are expensive. Whichever the corner, if you see, you, know, you can see very nice images. Earlier in CRT monitors, you have to sit in middle and watch it, right? But uh, CRT monitors are also there. Okay, so CRT, I'll write first. CRT means what? Cathode ray tube. Very good. Cathode ray tube. These are, we are not using this. These are very bulky in shape. Earlier televisions, monitors, your computers, you might have observed, no? At the back, very huge, like uh, it will be bulky behind the monitor. Okay, you have observed that. These monitors consume lot of electricity, but they are very cheaper. Cheapest. One, two, this is third one, this is fourth one. This is okay. This yard is the cheapest. Now we are not using this. This consumes more electricity when you compare to other monitors. Okay. See here, if you if you want to watch from the corner, you want, you can't see clear image. Okay. You have to sit in the middle and watch the TV or your monitor. Okay. So these we are not using nowadays. We have replaced your monitors with LCD, TFT, LED monitors. Okay. So uh, LCD now. Uh, the difference they are thin LCD monitors are thin monitors okay uh, even the, your computer screen or television screen nowadays it is coming very thin now you can wall you can ha hang it on the wall also okay so they are uh, made up of this technology LCD LED or TFT okay if you buy LCD LCD is the cheapest when you compare to LED and TFT okay so next is um, costlier is LED Light emitting diode. Whichever the corner you watch the TV, you can uh, nicely see, see the images. Okay. So here, um, LCD, LED. Next is TFT. What is T TFT means? Thin filament transistor. So this is also very costly. Now it is uh, getting the combination of LED and TFT. LCD and TFT. Okay. So they are very costly. Here yeah, the images are very sharp, very clear, color is very, uh, very conspicuous, very nice, okay, high resolution videos, okay. So here these are different types of monitors. Now you know, no, monitor is an output device. There are two types, monochrome and 
color monitors. Monochrome means single color, black and white. Color monitors is made up of RGB, red, blue, green. So in, again we have a CRT monitors. CRT means cathode ray tube. LCD means liquid crystal display. LED means light emitting light. PFT monitors means take filament transistor. Down the abbreviations. These abbreviations are very, very important for banking students. Okay. So they will not ask you how many times we are explain the classification and all they will not ask, but you should know. Okay, for uh, for multiple choice questions, they will ask. Monochrome. Monochrome is a single or color, color monitor. Like that is last. If you know the definition of all this, definitely you can answer the precise answer. Okay, got it? So shall we proceed? Next printer. Now we will learn printer is a computer. Very good. Printer is a output device. Now we will learn classification of printers. See, see students, you all go to youtube.com. In that, you give um, uh, what? Uh, printers. Dr. Yeah, uh, Sumati Ramakrishna Gaura, printers. Printer. I have explained printers there. Uh, here, I cannot bring the printer and show you. In that, we have shown you how daisy wheel looks, how a uh, uh, laser printer looks like that. Okay? You can, after this class, please watch that video. Hmm? Classification of printers. Here I cannot show you. I can only explain you the classification. Those uh, diagrams and all, you have to go and see my YouTube class. This is output device. Output device. Printer. Printer is an output device. Now we will learn classification. See, if you know the classification, definitely you can choose the correct answer. There are different types of printers are there. Okay. So these printers are classified into two types. Printers are classified into two types. Which are there? Anybody in the class? Hmm? If you know, please tell me. Impact and non-impact. Impact printers and non-impact printers. Impact and non-impact printers. In impact printers, anybody can, can you give me an example for impact printers? No, laser is not an impact printer. Very good. Dot matrix printers. Dot matrix printers. Second one. Daisy wheel printers. Okay. So these two are the impact printers. What about non-impact printers? Anybody can give me an example? Laser and very good. Laser is a non-impact printer. Inkjet printers. One more example is there. Can anybody give me? Which one? No, it's standard. So here, non-impact printers, you have what? Layer first is we'll give, we'll take the cheapest one, inkjet. Inkjet. Second one, laser printers. Third one, thermal printers. Okay. So this is the classification of printers. What do you mean by an impact? What is an impact? Impact means something 
heating. Okay, see, this is called as a heat pipe. This pen is heating by hand, right? Non impact without heating. So that is called as a non impact. See, you have a impact. Dot matrix printers and daisy gain. How many of you have seen dot matrix printers? Okay, how it will be? Same as? Very good, very good. Okay, so one of you have answered. How many of you have seen uh, dot matrix printers? Please raise your hands. Only one or two. Okay. See, all of you have seen, uh, as per my knowledge. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, can you tell me uh, what is the technology they use? Carbon uh, cartridge. Cartridge. How cartridge will be? Ripple like, right? Yeah, very good. She has seen. You all have seen, I tell you. You uh, you have traveled in train from Mysore to Bangalore or anywhere, right? You have purchased the tickets, right? Without tickets, you cannot go. So there, they print the tickets. You you will hear the sound kind of kind of like that, right? That ribbon. It uh, prints. Uh, that is the ribbon technology. Okay, that is a dot matrix printer. You all have seen. See the quality of the output is not so. Clear like when you compare to non impact printers, inkjet printers, laser printers, thermal printers, right? Here the quality will be a little bit low compared to these printers. But you can see, right? You can see the uh, how much they are. They, if they, they charge you 65 rupees, you can see they are not my soul to buy you 65 rupees like that. Okay? So I will not repeat it. I will repeat the same thing in Canada also. Okay? So here, dot matrix printers are not so clear, but you can see na, there how, what is this thing. So the technology I will explain you know, uh, how dot matrix printers get printed, okay? How it works. You can identify, when, when next time when you visit uh, railway station or even you go to photo shop and all, you can um, uh, differentiate between impact and non-impact printers, okay? See, here, dot matrix printers, I say, it is an impact. The technology is impact technology. See, it will be somewhat like this. You have a ribbon cartridge here. This is the ribbon cartridge. Okay. So, here you have a small nozzle here. This uh, dot dot will be there. It will hit, hit the ribbon and it gets printed, your tickets get printed or a whatever the data you want you can print, okay. So in uh, this is very economy, means the price is very less compared to all other printers, okay. When compared to these printers, this is the cheapest, dot matrix is the cheapest because this cartridge is very cheap. See, when, when government is giving you the ticket is for 65 or 100 rupees ticket, if you go by car and all it, if they, if they, the petrol fare will be more than 1000 like that. See, imagine how much you are saving, right? So, when you travel by train, the ticket they give is for 65 rupees. And they cannot spend on cartridges by paying 3000 or 4000. So, these cartridges are very less means the cost of the cartridge is very less. So they use this economy purpose. When you want to print in huge amount, you should always go for a economy printer. Economy means karme duddu do less price. Okay, do the same magic. So here uh, now the, the it will be like this. So how this technology? This I will magnify. Magnify means zoom. You can see. Now I am zooming this. Zooming on this uh, So there are uh, 12, uh, 12 wire dot matrix printer. I will uh, explain you the difference. 16 wire. I will take 16 wire dot matrix printer and 24 wire dot matrix printer. 
16 wire means 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, I will. Okay, 16 dots will be there. Okay, so here you can't see. Uh, it is a little bit of magnified image. Okay, this is a uh, 16 dots will be there. 16 wire dot matrix means 16 dots will be there. Here, you cannot see only. It's too small and you cannot see. So, this I have magnified it. So, this is a 16 wire dot matrix printer. How it prints? You should always go for higher 24 wire. Now, I have taken 16. Next, I will explain you 24 wire dot matrix. Here you want to print again. See, like this. These dots are joined. Okay, the, print, the printout is like this. You can see now it is looking like A. Now uh, I am back. Now I will do for how much? 24 wires. This is 24 wire. Okay, 24 dots are there. So your uh, dots are joined. See, this is more clear, right? This is more dark. The higher the resolution means more the dots, uh, it is uh, printout will be very clear. Okay, so uh, this is very cheap. This is a little bit costly. 24 wire dot matrix printer. Okay. It, uh, it hits the ribbon. A ribbon cartridge. Okay. So this is a dot matrix printer. Have you got it? A up. Anybody in the class? I will explain the same thing. If you don't understand, please ask me. Okay. Canada, Yuri. Okay. So here, this is dot matrix printer. Okay. The next is Daisy B. Daisy B. You all have seen um, uh, what? Typewriting machine. So it is just like that only. A little bit similar to that. Okay. Almost similar. So here, in my video, you can watch. I have seen the. I have shown the Daisy B printer. Here, I can't bring here and show you. Okay. Please watch my video. Go to youtube.com, give there Dr. Sumati Ramakrishna Goda. Number of uh, this thing is displayed. It is uh, uploaded in Drishya Vahini. KSOU Drishya Vahini. Please subscribe KSOU Drishya Vahini. All latest information is there. Okay? It is there. Hmm? So, uh, how this daisy printer works, I tell you. It will be like, uh, like this round shape. Here you have uh, what the strings for each uh, for each letter you have a different strings. Okay, so one letter You have seen no uh, typewriting machine for each letter you have a uh, different different strings. So here it starts from A, B, C, D, etc., etc., till. Z okay, so in this way you have different just like so I can use the spoke set to the letter. So each spoke will have a letter. So if you want to print computer, C is here, means you have to rotate, C has to come here, somewhere O is here. So if you come here and print O, somewhere M is here. So like this, it has to rotate each time. So it has to come and print here. See how much time it takes to print computer, right? So many rotations. For one letter, rotate one. So second letter, rotate one, like that. Okay? And so on. Whatever the data you want to print, so many number, the number of times the wheel gets rotated. Okay? Got it? So we are not using daisy wheel, it is absolute now. Okay? No one uses. These are all very old printers. We do the dot matrix of these printers. If you want to save money, go for dot matrix. Okay? So, after the uh, dots, you will get good quality of the output. Right? Okay. So, these are uh, dot matrix printers.
printers. Now using that inkjet printer. How inkjet printers? How many of you have seen inkjet printers? Please raise your hand. Okay, only one. Where you see? At home you have. Okay, here yeah, how the cartridge will be? Just like cup shape, right? Very good. Okay, so you all have gone to studio? Yes. To take your photos? Because you have applied for banking? He will ask you 300 kilobytes so that it should not be more than that, right? So he'll go there, he will take the photo, he will give you print out, or you can take the soft copy also. So the photo, how he prints within 10 minutes, he'll give you. So that he uses is a printer. Yeah, see the quality and all, this is very nice. So the ancient printers are very costly. So it costs more, maybe 3,000, 5,000 5, rupees, 6,000. Nowadays, uh, you get one, seven, eight, like that, good ones. So here, the cartridge, inkjet in in printer cartridge will be like this. Just like a cup shape. Okay. Small nozzle will be here to spray the ink. Okay. So this is one black and white. Cartridge, the other one is RGB cartridge. Okay. RGB means color. If you want a color printer, you should have this color cartridge also. So these two uh, cartridges, we call this as a cartridge. Cartridge. These two cartridges are installed in the printer. So uh, it's placed into this uh, very small, tiny nozzle. Okay. So how your color prayer, photos are printed like this. Okay, if you want only black and red, this is not good, only this one is Okay, got it? So these are very costly. These cartridges cost you about uh, one and a half thousand or two thousand or three thousand. Okay, so it is very expensive. But the quality of the output is very nice. Within 10 minutes you get the printer, beautiful printer. Okay. So, all uh, in uh, water. So, for personal use, also you can use this uh, studio. Photographers, they use this. Okay. So, you can use this. Next is laser printers. Laser printers, laser printers, compared to inject printer, they are more expensive. Costly. Help are costly, though. It's very nice. See how this cartridge will be, you know? Will be like cylindrical cartridge. This laser printer cartridge will be like this. It will be like cylindrical cartridge. Okay, in this cylinder, you have a what? Powder will be, will be there. See, cylindrical means like this. Cartridge will be uh, um, basically missing, uh, bigger than this. Uh, with why you can be fat. So it will be like this. So we in, we install it in the uh, where printer. Okay. So when you give a print command, this cartridge gets heated up and it melts the powder, and within no second you get the printout. So these printouts are very clear and very fast to print. Within uh, one uh, one second or something like that, you will get more than ten to fifteen pages printout. Okay. So it won't get smart. When in the inkjet printers, you, you should not touch. Uh, immediately after taking the printer, you should not touch because the ink spreads, okay? One or two minutes, you should leave it dry. Here, no need. Directly, you can use a very nice printer, very expensive compared to inkjet printers. Inkjet printers in the laser printer are Believe you print out too fast again, but then I don't spread up line for inject printers and spread up with them. They are in the big touch mark bar. Okay, so this is the difference. Got it? Okay, fine. Now thermal printers. See yeah, all these laser printers we use in our office for printing and all color laser printers are very, really, very expensive. They are seven lakhs, fourteen lakhs like that. We use in our uh, examination batch to print the, your uh, mask cards, your degree mask cards, communication mask cards. Okay, so we use this. 
This is very costly, 10 lakhs, 14 lakhs, but the quality of the sprint is beautiful. Okay. So, very costly, you can use for uh, this type of printing purpose. Next is thermal printer. Have you seen for thermal printers? Anybody in the class? We are not using this. Now I will tell you the story why we don't use this. These are all very early, early days printers. See, when you take a printer with thermal printers, how, how the output will be like? See, when the heat when comes out from these, uh, from these thermal printers, take one other button under the petty. Take a sheet. Your edge of the sheet gets burnt. Like that. So the printout will be like that. Andre, you print out the one way, sheet the edges here, the suit to the carbon carbon here. Suppose if you want to send a resume to your resume, to your resume to for applying job, if you take a printout of from that machine and said they will not see, they will put it into the display. Like that. We will resume and we will see in a job purpose and correspond for the body. They will not eat a sheet and the curse of the air, open model and the skin hack the air, it is shabby and it is too clumsy and it is so. If you have a resume, put back a way executive bond sheet and a print out the give a go. All that comes. Executive bond and there's a bunch of I get a quality paper. So and why I'm telling you is all give that all that gives you the expression how this can get me. When you go for an interview, also you should go very neat, clean, dress up nicely and go. I'm not telling you to wear heavy jewelry, put a nice silk saddle and go to formal casuals, dress up. Dressing is very, very important. How you dress it yourself. Looking at you only, then the uh, gauge uh, how this lady or this guy will be. Okay? So that is what how you have to present. Even your resume counts a lot. No one uses this herbal printers. Got it? Why? Because all the sheet, when it comes up from the printer, it gets the edges of the sheet gets burnt. Cup of black herbal. Okay? You can imagine not this. Uh, imagine that this is an agarbatti. Then the other kind of activity. She sell this one more common ring kind of thing. The second kind of thing. It doesn't look nice. Very ugly. So we have to. We don't do. Earlier, it was one of the hardest things for baby. Now we don't use it. Okay. Yeah. So you got it. How printers are classified. So. Printers are classified into how many types? Types. Tell me now without looking at the board. Very good. So under impact printers, which are the uh, printers can you name them? Now what, they, how can we give an exam, you know? Uh, it is the impact printer, uh, printer from the following. So they will put in jet laser, uh, thermal, for one is dot matrix. They will mix up with impact and non-impact technology. So which one is the answer? Dot matrix. Now you know, no, impact means something hitting, some impact is there. Okay. So uh, the printers are classified different. Do that as impact and non-impact. In impact technology. You have got matrix and base B. Okay. Um, so next is non-impact printers. Non-impact printers, how many types you have? Three types. Which are they? Very good. Now only other. Okay. Even you can mix up with these also. Uh, which is the non-impact printer? What they do is option A dot matrix, option B. Uh, daisy wheel, option C, uh, uh, thermal printer, option D, none of the above. Which one you will select? Thermal. So you should, why I am telling you, though you don't use this thermal printer, in exam they will put 
So it is your duty to know how many types of non non non-impact printers are there. So you know, no, these are the non-impact printers. However, they mix it. You should be able to pick the precise axis. Got it? At the end, I'll So now we have the different types of printers. In detail, you can watch me in YouTube. Okay. With all the slides, very nice uh, how laser printers uh, look like, how it works, how dot matrix printers look like, how it works. Okay. So the next is plotter. Anybody knows about the plotter? Plotter is a output device. Why we have, what is the usage of plotter? Even this plotter. Uh, how it looks, plotter making also, we have shown it in this output devices. Okay, we can watch that. So, here, plotter is used to draw the water, the idealistic lines, uh, architect, architect people will use this to draw the drawings and okay, the lines, drawings, all. Okay, so these are the plotters. So, there are different types of uh, water uh, print output devices. So we have done monitors, printers and plotters. Okay. So next is uh, storage devices. Secondary storage devices are also called as what? My first class. Auxiliary storage devices. Secondary storage devices are also called as auxiliary storage devices. Peripheral devices means input output devices. IO devices are also called as peripheral devices. But for secondary storage devices, please you should note down it is also called as an auxiliary storage device. Don't spell it. Secondary storage devices are also called as devices are also called as secondary storage devices are also called as auxiliary auxiliary storage devices. Okay, this is very important. They will not say secondary, they will say auxiliary storage devices. So, which are the auxiliary storage devices? Can you name them? Huh? You forgot so soon? The first class I explained you. Pen drive, very good, all. Very good. Pen drive, hard disk, they are all what? Floppy, floppies we don't use because it is more than to virus, so we are not using floppy, but floppies is also correct. You should learn floppies is also there because of the exam point of view, you should know floppies, magnetic floppy, floppies, second one, CD, read, read, write, all this you have there, uh, uh, you know, no, then. Uh, a pen, pen drive, pen drive, external hard disk, external hard disk. Okay, etc. etc. These are all what uh, secondary storage devices you are connecting to the CPU and using. Okay. So here uh, we don't use floppies. In floppies we have two, there are so many, uh, earlier it was very big in size, that is uh, uh, 3, 4 inch floppies, then uh, 1.44 only floppies. So these floppies are very, very virus prone floppies. So we don't use absolutely. Hard disk, cartridge, tapes, zip drive. CD ROM means read only memory, then DVDs, all, all these are all different types of CD is compact disc read only for reading purpose. You cannot write on it. 
Read R W means read write. You can erase the data. You can write on it. Okay. So there are different types of CDs. So these these are all called as secondary storage devices. Secondary storage devices are also called as auxiliary storage devices. Tell me, can you tell me? Or the secondary kind of auxiliary storage device, or just to cut put or pen drive or hard drive or text model target there correct that you have picked model. Okay, select the correct one. Okay, got it? Yeah. You all have learned monitors, printers, plotters. There are different types of secondary storage device. Plotters, no need it. Okay. When I was doing engineering, we, we had only floppies. So now we don't use floppies. Okay. Uh, what should uh, what should a PC contain? PC means what? Personal computer. When you want to buy a computer, minimum parts what should have? So I will tell you why they charge you more. Let's see if you you can get it assembled also. For twenty thousand also you can buy. For fifty thousand also you can buy. What is the difference I tell? Okay. So here the essential and optional components are as follows. Which are the essential? You should have a motherboard. Must and should. Here we have bifurcated basic or essential component and the optional. Optional means you can you can have it. Okay. So extra charges, optional. Uh, depending on your requirements, you should always go for a computer. So for basic requirement, you need only this. What is that? Motherboard. Motherboard is also called as dash printed circuit board. Okay, PC. Okay, motherboard. CPU means. What is expansion of Very good. Last class. My first class. Central processing your data. I have explained you how CPU works. If you have missed my first class, please go and see the video. Okay? How CPU works. Okay. Central processing unit. It should be must and should. CPU, motherboard, RAM. What is RAM? Yeah. Very good. Random access memory. RAM is also called as dash. Temporary. Yeah, temporary. What other name? One time. Always remember one time. See, why I use temporary is immediately will catch up. Means it is the contents of the RAM is temporary. As soon as the power goes out, the contents of the RAM gets vanished. Okay. So RAM is called as a volatile memory. Okay, very very important. Yes, this is alternatively they last. Wrong or RAM? Definitely question. Okay, the drives. So these are the drives: hard disk drive (HDD), hard disk drive (FDD), floppy disk drive. No, not needed FDD. FDD is uh, optional. Okay, don't go for FDD. We don't need floppy. Floppy. Okay, next year we should have a monitor, screen, right, right, TV, and a mouse also. Mouse is a must and should. So these are the very very essential parts of the computer. On this page, check the different number of board elements that we charge, like okay, CP. In processor also, you can go for Intel, AMD processor. There are so many types of processors, okay. Earlier we had Celeron processors. They were very slow. Then came uh, Intel processors, Pentium 4, Pentium 5, Pentium 7, like that. Okay. So Intel is very fast. AMD and they are, Intel they are what computations. Okay. AMD is also nice. Intel they are computers. They are doing computation means they are rivals. Both are producing really good. The, for processes, okay. Intel, Intel, Pentium, i7, i3, they are all fast processors. If your processor is slow, 
your computer will be doing so. To open if it takes so much of time, see how you will not have much patience, right? And so you know the RAM, if, if you want to work faster or if you want to open your file very fast, then you should work on bigger RAM capacity. Okay, in terms of GB, what we had earlier days, yeah, megabytes. Now we are going for GB, right? Higher the version of the RAM, mean the storage space is low. So very high RAM capacity, your computer will be very fast. So the RAM capacity always go for 2 GB or 4 GB because for your home purpose it's enough. 6 GB, 10 GB, 16 GB is enough. Okay. So the RAM hard disk it's must and should. Okay, 40 GB, 50 GB, depending on your usage. Don't go for high capacity because you hardly use, you know your usage, okay? So the GB. So hard disk space in terms of GB can select the monitor also. You have different types of monitors. I told you if your budget is less, go for lesser uh, small screen monitor like that. Resolution. I will explain to you new by a resolution. Okay. The resolution means when you open, when you see some photos and all, your photos should look very nice. Right. So if you have your monitor screen resolution is high, you can see the sharp images. If the resolution of the monitor itself is very less, you will see the blurred images, okay? Got it? Why my photo is coming like this? You, you may not like your own photos. Okay, that is the, that depends on the resolution of your screen, monitor, okay? So what is resolution with that? See, they are all for them working for government. They cannot buy Hollywood resolution cameras and see you you have uh, for example I like, you, you all are carrying mobile phones, right? Some will have low resolution um for your handset, you know, so mobile. Some will have Apple phones, some will have Samsung, some will have See, depending on the uh, your uh, cameras, uh, mega, uh, 16, uh, 16 megapixel, 20 megapixel, 80 megapixel, GB like that. See, if you, if you click a photo in 10 megapixel and open that, and if you click in 80, 80 megapixel, see the difference. If you click my photo, you can see not nice uh, photo of mine. If you've seen Apple with which has got high resolution, you can see me beautifully there. Okay, that is what the difference is. Okay, now it is you are getting very nice cameras. Even if I'm not nice also, even if I'm very dark also, you can make me flash. Okay, you can also my little bit the features also. You can make my nose sharper and all. Okay, you can make me look beautiful. Okay, so these are the features which the camera has. See, nowadays you are having so many options in your mobile phones only. You can make the photos beautiful. Beauty, if you select the option beauty, it will only take all the features. Fair color. See, everybody wants to look fair and beautiful, right? You know, I'm dark. When you take the photo, if you show my photo, I will only feel like, oh, I look so beautiful. <laughs> That is like you can make, you can pull. Oh, you know, you can use it with a light. Okay, so that is what matrimonials uh, websites are there. See the link, how the guy looks, how the girl looks. They will take nice photos and upload. There's nothing wrong. Okay, very good. Higher the resolution, sharper the images are. Okay. So uh, nowadays, uh, there are many, many, if you pay more, you get more options. You can do so many things in that. You can change the background also. Now I'm teaching in KS only. You can put, you can remove this background and make some nice, uh, beautiful backgrounds also. So scenery also you can put like this, okay? So that is what, uh, these are the, uh, what, uh, many, many options nowadays are. Available. Advanced technology is advancing every day. 
So earlier we, uh, we didn't have holes, right? Uh, those who had holes, we used to do that old language. Now everyone has got the mobile phones, right? Even the speaker has got mobile phones. So the technology, uh, so here, in how the, the technology is advancing and also the prices of the gadgets are also reducing. So it is become uh, like a user friendly, anybody can buy that. Uh, even, uh, even if you don't know to read and write also, they can operate mobile phones. This is GUI based app. Right now, GUI means, see when teaching will be on this part, sir. I should have told you earlier. GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. If you want, I can write down. See, nowadays, you all use uh, gadgets which are GUI based. Means GUI. Graphical. <laughs> Yeah, graphical user interface. For this, you, you don't need a programming uh, languages background. You anybody can operate your mobile phones. Those who don't know to read and write, also they can use uh, mobile phones because of this technology. Graphical user interface. Okay. So looking at that only you know where to press receive button, how to decline the uh, phone calls and all. Okay. So it is very user friendly. See nowadays I have, uh, I do lot of research. Uh, when I buy vegetables, uh, I'll just uh, tell you, vegetable vendors. And, uh, so when I go there, he will answer phone calls and Then I ask him. But I know to answer the phone calls and receive the call and call back. Andre button Even the servants, maid servants, I asked her, you don't know even at Thanda alphabets also you don't know how do you use the phone? So she said that she works for four um, houses. Uh, so how she has stored, she don't know to type the letters also to store the, so she has used the symbols. One uh, smiling to identify. Okay. So she was telling, no, but curiosity man yet. He may use Marty and the girl, he would love. So see how she is using. She don't know the need and write, but she knows very well the using mobile phones. So that is all because of Gina. It makes the user friendly to use the technology. So you all, you all can use your laptops and all, no? But you can't use DOS. DOS is what? Forgot this operating system. DOS means to open a file, you should know the command. To save the file, you should know the command. Here in Windows, all symbols are there. To save, you will click like a floppy type icon is there. You need not learn a shortcut keys also. Control S is for saving. Control O for opening. That you need not learn all the uh, symbols are there. When, when you uh, move the mouse, the cursor only tells you, right? If you point it near that uh, paste button, it will tell you this icon is for paste. So these are all user friendly, right? It will make you just one or two days you need a little bit of practice. After that, you can use the computer on your own. So all user friendly, GUI. Base. That is what I am telling you. Those who don't want to read, write also, everyone is loving it, all are using mobile phones. So that is making your life easier and simpler. Okay? So sitting here only, you can collect so many information. Right? So these are the essential parts of the computers. This we should have motherboard, CPU, RAM, HDD. Then monitor, keyboard, and a 
marks. So about the keyboard, not only the first class I have explained you. There are different types of marks are there, right? Cordless, with cord, cord means wire, okay, laser, all that. So what is what the price of the computer depends on these components. Okay, each component. If you not go over capacity, your capacity will also cost you more. Depending on your usage, you have to select these components. Okay, so these are the essential components of a specific any a personal computer. PC means personal computer. So next is optional. So what is optional? Printer. Printer is not necessary for you. It is costly mark. 5,000, 6,000 you have to spend. After buying the printer also partly just uh, uh, you have to bear the expenses. Okay. So not to print uh, printers, you can always carry a soft copy in a pen drive and go to the uh, browser center, they will give you the printer. So printer, if you really need if you are doing business, then only you go for printers. Okay. Printer is an option. Scan. How much we scan? If you want to scan your photo, you can go to the browsing center, get your photo scanned and upload it. Okay. So scan. Different types of scanners also I have talked to in the first class. So we have image scanner, we have OCR scanner, we have OMR scanner. What is OCR? Optical character reader or optical character recognition. What is OMR? Optical mark reader or optical mark recognition. Now you are in you all and you will be answering for banking exam which you will get OMR sheets. Only the correct answer you have to darken the circle. Okay, so they are all called as OMR. So there, there are different types of scanners are there. In order to read this, you should go for OMR scanner. If it wants to recognize characters, means OCR. Images is a normal scan. Okay. So, scanner is not the, so essential for you. Next is modem. Modem means what? It's very good for why we need it? For internet purpose. Very good. What is the expansion of modem? Modem expansion is very important. They are asking about that. What is modem? Modem means what? Modem. Modem means Modem means modulator or demodulator. Modem, modulator, DM means demodulator. Why do we use this device? For internet purpose. Suppose if you want an internet, internet connection to your computer, you should have a modem. What are the functions of that? What it does? What modem does? Modem, see this is your, uh, now you are having a computer at home, okay. This is your computer. I will draw the picture and explain you. See the modem is connected. This is a small modem. Okay, it is connected to your CPU. This modem, this is the telephone line, connected, one more telephone line, okay, so from here, modem is there, connected to the PC, this is the PC, this is modem, modem, this is PC. 
Sí, mira, el pelo cogió a la This is a small device. What can I say here? What this table says? Computer doesn't understand. The computer understands only what? Okay. The quality digital it understands only binary digits, which zeros are ones only. It will not understand anything. So you have taken the telephone connection. From telephone connection now you are using internet. Internet means you have you should have a modem with telephone connection. Okay. BSNL, Airtel, Reliance, whatever it is left to you, Vodafone or anyone. So here the modem is given by the telephone company. It is connected to your CPU. Now you are typing one letter and you are sending that email to your friend who is in America. Okay, within no seconds it reaches the yeah. your friend. Within two seconds, uh, she will receive your email after typing. How it is doing? See the beautification of this. Uh, um, what? How it goes? Okay, within no seconds, now you are getting the mail. Earlier it used to take in you know, a while. If you are in Maharashtra, if you your parents are in Karnataka to read that letter only it takes you take earlier one week. Okay, now within no second it is reaching how it working with the time of internet. So this modem is an external device or it, it, it there are two types of models. Okay. Internal modem and external model. Always use external model. Internal model is the same device. Is connected inside your CPU. This is 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 external model. Outside the CPU. Internal model is somewhere here you have to fix up. Okay. Inside the CPU. Always use external model. Because something the uh, if it is if 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 it, the working of the model fails, also get rectified. Okay, inside the CPU means you have to remove the whole cabinet and get it uh, what rectified. What are the problems there? Okay, so here what it does is your model when you are typing the letter and when you are pressing the send button, it is going through the model. Your email is coming here. So here model converts. Digital to analog. Now it is going to digital. All computer data is in digital format. Digital to analog. When you are saying analog means electrical signal. This is the telephone lines. Telephone lines don't understand digital. It understands only analog signals. Right? So modern. When you are sending the mail, it is coming here first. It converts digital to analog. So, it is passing through the telephone lines. Now, your friend is in America here. Sitting, he is opening the file. Now, all these are the analog signals, right? Now, this model means your, your data is in the form of analog signals. Now, this model is converting analog to Digital, vice versa. Aita, vice versa andre, atta So here, it is, uh, and now your data is in the form of analog. Now it is going, now your friend is in America. She is opening your mail. Now this analog signals, uh, this model converts analog to digital. And now you can open. Arta aita. It is only KSU. Right? Karnataka State Open University is a good thing. So, private institution is a in my class, if you attend all my classes, definitely you can, this is for 10 marks. 
or 10 out of 10, you will get it. Okay. So, this is modem S. Modem means modulator, demodulator. It converts analog to digital signals, vice versa. Vice versa means digital. Analog, analog. Okay. But if he gives more classes, I will take. I will teach you how this uh, data beautifully moves uh, across the world. How your data is received. All that we will learn in uh, email. Email means what? Networks means what? Internet means what? All that. Okay? That is very beautiful subject. Networks I will teach you. Network means what? What is an internet? Extranet means what? Intranet means what? All that we will know. Okay, one by one. So the next is modem you have the next is CD or DVD. CD means compact disc. DVD. DVD means digital video display. Okay, so DVD is a higher capacity than compact. Okay. So if you want to store one whole movie in it, you can't store it in CD, you can go to DVDs. Higher, uh, higher big store, okay? So, uh, speakers. Speakers, when you connect speakers, then only you can hear the sound. Computer, without the speaker, you can't hear. Even if it is playing your song, or playing the video, you can't hear everything. You should have a speaker because Speaker converts digital signals into electrical signal. So, uh, computer doesn't understand uh, what uh, electrical yeah, songs and all you cannot hear. So, if you want to hear the song, you know, if you want to see the video display and all, in video you will have the sound and everything. Now, so you should have a speaker. Speaker which converts the water. Digital signals into electrical signals. Speakers understand only electrical signal, so that you get the sound. So there is one card. Sound card should be installed in your CPU. Then only you have the voice. Okay? Got it? Speakers. Yam ke na computer liye aade par aada puri bata hi karte. New speaker tarak mat bande na. Bata hi ta. Seeker. Zip drive we get bake it. La madle la bake it. We get la. Okay. Zip means your files can be compressed. Space it yella unsa. Zip. So these are the optional parts of the computer. So students, so we will. So you have understood this, na? So before proceeding the next topic, just one. Okay, only uh, the minutes are there. So, new topic means it will take another 15 to 20 minutes. So, we'll just revisit what we have learned today. So, what we have learned today is different types of output. Can you tell me how many types of output devices are there? Okay, uh, how many types of monitors are there? Okay. I will ask it like this. This this side, this side, this side. Okay, so uh, you have done today only what you should do. Okay, how many types of monitors are there? Which are they? Color monitors. Color monitors are made up of what? Very good. RGB. Okay. Can you tell me different types of monitors? This row. Yeah. Yeah. CRT, NCT, What do you mean by CRT? This way. Cathode ray tube. CRT means cathode ray tube. What is LCD? Very good. Liquid crystal display. What is TFT? Very good. Thin filament transistor. LED? Light emitting diode. Very good. Very good. 
Okay. How printers are classified? Two types. Printers are classified into two types. Which are they? Very good. Impact and non impact. Can you tell me uh, the examples for impact printers? Very good. Dot matrix printers and Visible printers. Which of the non uh, can you give me an example for non impact printers? Inkjet printers, laser jet printers, and thermal printers. How laser jet printers work? Yeah, they have the what cartridges, laser, uh, yeah, cylindrical laser rifles. The laser is cylindrical cartridge which gets melted up and it prints the output. Okay, how inkjet printer works? You have a cup shaped cartridge, it spreads the what ink through the nozzle. Very good. So, how, how the printout of the thermal printers, how it looks like? The edges of the sheet gets water. Very good. Yeah. You can again, but we can burn the edges of the sheets. That is what it looks like. It is very ugly. Okay. So, you have the different types of printers. Okay. So, printers means they are they are output devices classified into two types impact line. Back. All impact printers are dot matrix printers, basic printers. Non impact printers, you have inkjet printers, laser printers, and, and thermal printers. Okay, beautiful. You have done now only. So, the next is water. Very good. Second is storage devices are also called as what? Auxiliary. auxiliary storage devices. Which are the auxiliary storage devices? Very good. Pen drive, external storage, uh, external cartridge, uh, pen drive, DVD, CDR, each right, they all come. That second so What do you mean by a model? <laughs> How many types of modem are there? Two types. External and internal. The speed of the modem is also there. You should go for higher speed. Okay, minimum is a. Uh, uh, 128 kilobytes earlier it was 56 kbps. You should go for higher. Okay, higher speed your internet speed will be high. Okay, you can browse the net faster. So, motherboard motherboard is also called as what? PCB, printed circuit board. It is also called as VDU. What is VDU? What is VDU? Very good. Somebody said visual display. Yes, you are correct exactly. Visual display unit. Visual display unit. Very good. Monitors are also called as VDU. Visual display unit. So here, what do you mean by a CPU? Central processing unit. This is the heart of the computer. Okay, so how it works also with the help of a diagram I have explained you. Okay, what do you mean by a RAM? RAM is memory. RAM is also called as a dash. Memory, temporary memory. Always remember temporary. Temporary means one at a time. All the data gets valid. ROM is a dash. Not one at a time. ROM. What is ROM? ROM. 
Read only memory. This is a permanent memory. It is also called as firmware. Permanent memory. Read only memory is a non volatile memory. Non volatile memory. Always remember this non volatile memory. Okay. This name permanent non volatile. Means the contents of the ROM won't get vanished even if the current goes off. Okay, the contents will be there. It doesn't get vanished. Okay. So now you know the difference between volatile and non volatile. Okay, students, you have learned a lot today. Next class will continue. What is modern? Modulator and non modulator. What it does? It converts digital to analog and analog to digital, vice versa. Okay, you know where we use for what purpose we use. Now we are getting longer here by its models, right? You can, instead of using this type, you can just connect that longer to your CPU and use it. Okay, so that is the function. The function of the model is to convert. Analog to digital. So you know the modern uh, expansion, modulator, decoder. Okay, students, we have learned a lot today. Next class, we will continue. Thank you for teaching. So all watch Vishwavahini on form and latest YouTube uh, videos, okay? Even today's class also, uh, it will be uploaded. Okay, within one or two days. And uh, thank you so much. Next class will continue. Don't miss my next class. It is very, very important for you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.